example. The show is an hour from opening, and already it's easy to see which display is among the most busy. There's a literal sea of people out here to, at the Viking booth to see the 64 and, and the different Valhalla models, which have been really taking the market by storm. Uh, surprise, the big announcement out of Viking is that they're discontinuing the 92 to focus on a new fleet of 90 footers. Stay tuned for PMY Mag for more on that newcomer. But for right now, we're gonna take you through the newest model in the Viking 64 and give you a quick look around with me, my friend Charlie. So let's take a look. Very clean helm set up. It's always amazing on a boat of this size to look at how good the sight lines are. It just takes a little imagination to imagine that booth is out of the way and you're chasing down some blue water. Full walk around, which we're seeing more and more. I really like that. And a huge sun pad. This would be a good spot to sit and watch the horizon. There's also excellent visibility aft. Huge crowds. As I hand you over to executive editor, Charlie Levine. All right, thank Here's you, Charlie. Dan. All right. And there's the man Charlie. right there, Pat what Healy. Think, Charlie, pretty good, isn't it? It's beautiful. There's nothing like it. I love nothing the new like bridge setup, the full walk around, that big sun pad. And you were saying that kind of migrated from some of the smaller boats? 100% through the Valhallas. That's and, incredible. And we, and we put those on the 80 and the 72, and it was a matter of moving everything around in a redesign. Moving the freezer from being up forward, moving that aft, and it, it really makes a big difference. It's great. Have that walk around and nice lounge area. But this is the moneymaker right here, right? Oh, absolutely. Hey, all this, all the toe kicks, we put all the toe kicks in here, all the toe kicks in. It shortens the elevation. So it gives it style. Anytime you can bring elevation down in the design, it really does a nice thing. And let me tell you, this is a difficult thing in a mold because we have to put dams in that. And then we have to post finish it. So it's, you know, for years we built it, it would just come up and there wouldn't be a toe kick there, but it gave you, it gave you vertical height. And, and what happens now, it's a whole different look. It just, it just shortens it all. It, 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 it's, a, it's a nice deal. Tons of room. Oh, there's plenty of room. All, all, all the storage here. All, everything at the 62s and everything, your engine room access here. Big, big cooler drink box. Everything good. Of course, your seat keeper right dead center in the hatch. Okay, you gotta, easy you access. You maintain them. And plus, that's where you want to you you install because, God forbid, if you ever want to break, and it will, but they do a very good job. You pluck it right out, stick it in the back of a pickup truck, take it right down, and they fix it in this back of the day or two. I gotta grab a water and then I gotta yeah. roll because I got another. Thank you, Pat. It's a beautiful boat. See, I love Chris is gonna be putting out is the uh, consolidating all the ordinary goods. Yeah, that's the So as Pat was saying, it's a 180 square foot cockpit, all the room in the world to fight fish, run a big spread. This is a fish raising boat. What did he say? Big boats raise big blue marlin. So this is, uh, this is definitely where you want to be. And it is a four state room layout inside. We could try to get in the salon, but as the show just opened, it's, it's pretty busy there. Hey, Tony. Sorry. Hey, Charlie, what's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing good, sorry. Okay. That's all right. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> Los Sueños man right here. Oh, Two-time winner? A lot of time winner. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but it's stupid. Depends what you're asking. Legs well, you won back-to-back, -back, right? You won back-to-back. -back. I guess double, double, triple crown. One of the old ones, when it was only two tournaments. Eight legs. 
first place May leg. The man. Two thirds in a second. Well, I want to go fishing with you. <laughs> See. <laughs> It's always amazing with the Viking is all the hardcore fishing features and how this boat is so performance minded. If you come inside, it really has this motor yacht finish. I, it really makes me kind of want to sit over there. I think those are fake beers and I haven't had breakfast yet, but you see just a very comfortable, very easy living in here. Any boat that fishes hard, cold storage is at a premium. Easy to say, enough more cold storage than most homes. It's just a beautiful boat. Tons of headroom and a number of different accommodation solutions, which is nice. Hard to say which is the VIP and, and which is which is the master, but both this and the forward stateroom offer a lot of storage, ensuite heads. Access to a private head in here also. A lot of livability. You have a good good sized crew on this one. And that's it. That's a quick look at the newest Viking. You want to stay tuned for more on this model and the exciting news about the 90 here and at pmymag.com. We'll see you guys out on the docks.